Hi, it's time for the math. Easy solution. We're going to discuss uh, further into derivatives of inverse hyperbolic trigonometry and now look at the derivative of hyperbolic cotangent, I mean inverse hyperbolic cotangent of x and show that it's equal to 1 divided by 1 minus x squared. And like always, the first thing we do here is first let y is equal to inverse hyperbolic cotangent of x. And now with inverse functions, this is the same thing as writing basically x equals 2 hyperbolic cotangent of y. So we just replace the x and y. Now we're dealing with solving for y. Uh, now And now uh, basically uh, what we could do here is use implicit differentiation and solve the derivative of both sides. But that's uh, basically the best way to do this. So d over dx on the left side of, of the function x. This has to be equal to the derivative of the right side. And we could do this because they're both equal to each other. If both sides are equal to each other, then the derivatives are equal. So we're not changing anything. And basically, uh, we're just, yeah, basically the derivatives are the same. So we could do this. And as you'll see that it, uh, it's much easier to solve for the derivative. So now basically, uh, to do this, the derivative of the left side, it's obviously 1. You can even see that it cancels. The derivative of x is just 1. And now the derivative of the right side, like I showed in my earlier video, it's basically the derivative of cotangent is um, hyperbolic cotangent is negative hyperbolic cosecant uh, squared of y right here, but now using chain rule because y is a function of x, so we have to use at uh, y prime right here, and like always in this case, y prime is just uh, dy over dx, the derivative uh, in terms of x. So now we have this right here, and now if we solve for y prime. So make sure you watch the earlier video on the proof of uh, derivative of this to getting it to hyperbolic cosecant squared of y. So now we solve for y prime, divide this out, so we get basically negative 1 over hyperbolic, um, yeah, hyperbolic cosecant squared of y right here. But now we want to write this in terms of x, and we could do that by applying the hyperbola identity like I showed in my early video, the proof of this, basically we know that hyperbolic cosine, uh, basically hyperbolic cosine minus hyperbolic sine is equal to one right here. Hyperbolic sine of y equals to one. So we know this identity, but now if you want to, we want to write the cosecant squared of y, hyperbolic cosecant squared of y. So what we do is divide everything by sine. You'll see why we're doing this in a bit. Uh, by sine squared, it's hyperbolic sine squared divided by hyperbolic sine squared. We're not changing the, f the formula in any way, we're just dividing everything by the same thing. So it's still the same. So hyper hyperbolic sine squared of y. So when we divide this all out, this side right here, this is just a definition of cotangent. Hyperbolic cotangent uh, squared right here, that's all this is, because that's just cos over sine. And now this is sine uh, over sine, so we get these cancel out, they'll be just one. And the right side, this is just definition of this right here hyperbolic cosecant of uh, uh, cosecant squared of y right here. So that's all it is by definition. So we could plug this part into here and I'll show you why in a bit. So y prime we know is equal to negative 1 over hyperbolic cosecant squared of y. And now this equals 2. Plug this in instead of this. So we get 1 over uh, basically uh, cotangent hyperbolic cotangent squared of y minus 1. And now we know what this is actually. This is, uh, if we scroll up the cotangent, we know right from the beginning of our proof, we know that x equals to hyperbolic cotangent of y. So that's equals to x, but now we're squaring it, so this is just x squared. So we get y primes equal to negative 1 over x squared minus 1. But this negative, we could basically replace. I mean, yeah, we could basically multiply it inside here, so we get one over. Well, just this just becomes flipped. So one minus x squared, and once again, it's the same thing as d over uh, dx or derivative of uh, inverse hyperbolic cotangent of x. And there you go. There's our proof. This is the same thing as y prime. And now we just solved it. It's pretty straightforward. Hopefully uh, you learned from this. That's all for today. Remember, you can download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And also in the video description, I have a bunch of uh, related videos to this. Uh, and based to inverse hyperbolic functions and basic derivatives, especially derivative of this hyperbolic cotangent and getting it to uh, basically hyperbolic cosecant squared. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.